Oh, calm down. Let's just get let's just get real with the honey. I became a wedding photographer within two years of picking up a camera, making three to four K on a wedding, all because I followed these rules that I just gave to you. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your girl Felicia back at it again with another video this time on how you can make money as a beginner photographer. So I know the big question you have, everyone have when they start photography is how can I start making money doing this? First you're trying to figure out everything with your camera, how to work it. Now you're like, oh, I'm kind of good. Can I make some money? Um, yes you can. And I'm going to show you how. One, first you're going to build your portfolio. People don't even know that you're a professional photographer yet. And you don't become a professional photographer without practicing and learning your camera. So you're gonna build your portfolio that's gonna help you become proficient with your camera, knowing your settings, knowing how to work the camera, and working in all types of light. Another benefit to building your portfolio will be that you get to go out and explore all types of photography. I mean, shoot away, shoot different subjects, shoot food, shoot people, shoot couples, shoot families, shoot, shoot, shoot away. That will help you figure out what your style is and what you like to shoot. What would you like to make money do? So building a portfolio for you may mean for as long or as short as needed to do things for free. You're gonna have to do shoots for free. You're gonna have to shoot subjects, all types of things for free to figure out how to use your camera, how to work in all different types of light and what works for you in your style. Number two, you're gonna start with your family and friends. These are the first people that you can charge a small amount until you're confident in what you are shooting and what you want to endeavor in. Perhaps your friends and families have families, children that you wanna dive into. Perhaps there are new couples, perhaps they just got married. Perhaps they have a restaurant and you wanna dive into food. Just reach out to them and say, hey, post it on social media, post your portfolio on social media and charge a small amount until you are comfortable and proficient and professional enough in your abilities to charge more. And that brings me to my next point. You are going to finally start charging accordingly. Now this can take, this can be as fast or as slow as necessary, okay? You don't need to wait a long time to charge accordingly to come up to industry standard or more if you have taken the time to become proficient and professional in your abilities and your skill and talent, if you have invested in your equipment, in your education, in your time, to getting to know how to become a photographer, honey, this could be within a year or this can be within five years. As long as you have built the confidence and the competency, is that the word? Cause y'all know I'm making up words, okay? <laughs> as long as you have built it up to be able to confidently say, I'm gonna charge this much X amount, industry standard y'all okay get your money lastly i would like to say that i think a common mistake in the industry is that we impose the opinions and some facts that there's one shoe that fits all on how to become a professional photographer that charges accordingly first of all i became a wedding photographer within two years of picking up a camera making three to four k on a wedding all because I followed these rules that I just gave to you, honey. And that's just the skim, that's just the surface of the iceberg. If you would like to dive deep and get more tips and get more things on marketing, social media, and client experience, please feel free, join Photo Tribe. The link is down below. And also subscribe for weekly videos on this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening. I hope you take this, go out there, make your money, honey. Hey, what's a money song? Dang, I had my points. And I did it perfectly in the shower. Okay, one.
Yes, I'm writing my notes down, y'all. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. And action. Perfectly in the shower. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it in the shower. I knew it. I should have just waited till I got out and then spewed it all on the camera. Now I don't know what to say. Hold on. Thank God. I promise I'm not this ghetto. God. You're so pretty. All right. Oh, thank you, Emma.